This is a quick video that shows you how to post a request to the OpenAI API using Postman. The request will return a response from the GPT-3 DaVinci language model. I believe this is a good first step on the road to creating applications that use OpenAI as it shows you the fundamentals of authentication and how to form JSON data that the API will accept. I'll also briefly discuss prompt and completion tokens, which can have an effect on the cost and the quality of the response. So the first step is to log into your OpenAI developer account. If you don't have one, then you can sign up for one in the link that I'll put in the description. So click on the personal menu and go into view API keys. So now we want to generate an API key, create a new secret key, give it a name. Uh, they won't show this key a second time, so you do need to copy and store it in a safe place. Just copy that. Now I want to open Postman. I want to create a post request. In authorization, the type needs to be Burra token. I paste in the token here. Now the URL of the endpoint is this one, apiopenai.com version one completions. I'll put this in the description as well. I want to click body and raw. And then the text drop down, select JSON. So now this is ready to enter the, uh, the JSON that you want to send. So I'm going to go back to the developer portal. I'm going to click on Playground. It's allows you to play around with prompts and various settings. So you can select the mode, the model, and different settings. I won't go into any of these now. I'll just set them as the default. And all I'll do is just type in a prompt, a question. I'm not going to submit this. But what I'm going to do is view code. And this gives me then the JSON, which I can copy, go back to Postman, post that in. So you have the model that will be used, the prompt. Like I said, I won't go into these just yet. I will cover Max Tokens uh, in a couple of minutes. But I'll just leave, leave, leave the rest as default for now. So let's give this a try. I want to click send. So there we have now a response. So this answers the question. John Lennon was an English singer, songwriter, and peace activist, and so on. So it's really simple and straightforward, very quick. Create the API key create some JSON, send it in, and you'll get this response. So very, very straightforward to use. So in the response, you see there's some information relating to usage. These are prompt tokens, completion tokens. So the prompt tokens are the characters that form the question. And one token is roughly four characters. So the question, who was John Lennon, consists of 20 characters, which if you divide by four gets you five tokens. Uh, the completion tokens are the characters that form the answer, essentially. So the longer the answer, the more tokens that you use. So in this case, 137. Uh, but what is a token? And can you limit the number of tokens that are used? So a token is something that you pay for. If you go back to the OpenAI dashboard, Manage account. Click on usage. So, so far, for the cumulative for this month, I've used 0 0.02 cents out of a limit of $20. So every time I send 
a request to OpenAI API, I get charged. But I can limit those costs by, let's go back to the playground, setting the maximum length. So as you can see here, the maximum length uh, is the number of tokens that uh, is, is generated. So essentially, the, the bigger this number, the bigger the answer or the bigger the response. And the smaller that number, the smaller the response and, and, and the less cost it is to you. So if I go back to Postman and I change this max tokens value to, let's say, 64. So nothing else has changed, just the max tokens. And just remember, let's take a copy of this. This is the response. So that's the initial response with 256 tokens compared to 64 max tokens, which gives you a much shorter response. So this will be cheaper to me because it'll be less tokens, but obviously perhaps not as satisfying for the end user if you're developing an app and you want to give them as much information as possible, that would be more uh, costly to you because you'll need to ensure that the max tokens is higher.